You're gonna have Venia versus Jackal, and I do not know when the last time these two uh, guys played. I'm not sure either, to be honest. Um. But yeah, so important to know also winners finals here, just because of the number of entrances, it's gonna be a best of three, not a best of five. Yep. Also, uh, Hydro, I'll shake you on that bet. You know my Discord. Uh, shake. I got Venia. Okay. Anyhow, uh, I did a little <laughs> something got ethical. I side bet. Wait, how much Whoa. was the bet? That I didn't. I didn't catch that. Uh, um. <laughs> Classified information, oh. regardless. <laughs> uh, we're going to be seeing Venia sort of really, really aggressively just dash running in with a falling back in. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, we definitely like Venia after an engine. Definitely like wants to get in there, kind of get inside wolf space, not let him use the lasers. And then once you kind of get in there, Venya's reaction time is like insane. So yep. like get those weak little hits and just kind of like read like the tech chases mm -hmm. from there and just don't let him breathe. And oh my god, Jackal almost ended Venya's entire stock potentially with that back in the town city, even though it has really, really high uh, vertical ceilings. Doesn't have, um, you know, nearly as, I guess, wide uh, horizontal ones. I'd love that stall from the Shuriken because oh, he yeah. was anticipating a down air from Jackal for sure. Mm -hmm. So I feel like on stage, this might be a little bit more Wolf Saber, but as soon as you get off stage, oh. though, in general, unless things like that happen, it's going to be like Grenadier's game to kind of like just easily just go out there, use your triple hit back air, take the jumps and whatnot. But like getting a lead back might be a little bit tougher Venya in this kind of situation. I love the patience that Venya has around Jackal's shield because like Jackal was probably anticipating for him to go like really quickly with like a back air, the down smash almost connecting. Yeah, and being a little bit more like patient with that, I feel like you have to with Grenadier because his grab has a little bit yeah. lesser frame data than like other grabs in the game, like Wolf's, for instance. And that's gonna be the down tilt forward of Jackal, impeccable DI, making sure to live that. But his up is so unfortunate, missing the ledge there. Yeah. Venny with a really nicely spaced back here on Jackal shield and catching the jump. This is so dangerous. Got it. Wow. Once he has, gets the jump, it's a wrap. Especially on Town of with like the larger blast zones like this, he can follow him down way deeper than Wolf could ever possibly go. Venya, like this entire day that I've seen him on stream, like every time he's down, you just see him cleaning up so quickly with his offstage presence. Yeah. That jump back from Jackal it was, was so good. So good. <laughs> Making sure just to wait out Venya's hydro pump that he saw coming. Mm -hmm. is so smart just to hold shield there, anticipating a forward or perhaps a back hit. And I like the full hops too from Venya because like his, uh, his aerial acceleration for full hopping is going to make it really tough for Wolf to kind of get in there, especially when he's more like around like your up air range, which like in this kind of situation, I feel like Jackal's not going to want to hit. He more wants the forward air to back air kind of thing. But like the position that Venya has is perfect for bringing this back right now. And I love the fact that Venya opted to go for the jump thing instead of attack. He was close to the edge of the stage. That would yeah. have been like a two and three chance of him dying to the down smash tech chase. And that is going to be the up smash. Yeah. That was an Asian position they're going for, like the pivot grab. I wonder if just like, if Venya thought he was going to roll in perhaps. Yeah. But it's a shame because if he would have gotten like the regular grab, could have referred to something. But great job Jackal for picking that up and keeping his presence in mind to just take that early lead and just not drop it. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I feel like uh, this kind of a match is like so difficult to adapt to, especially because winning his finals today is going to be best out of three, yep. considering the number of entrances. This was like every time somebody lost a neutral into action, they got blown up for oh, it. Oh, yeah. So like it's like right here, like Venya with one and two action has lost all stage control. Now he has to get back onto center against Jackal, which is definitely not like easier said than done. Mm -hmm. And both characters are like generally fast. So I mean Wolf doesn't have like the fastest like run speed and everything like that. But like in general, like as good of a two framer that Wolf is, he hasn't really had that much of a chance to kind of contest like Venya at the ledge because Greninja yeah. is either following him off stage or getting back to the ledge like pretty effortlessly just because of the speed. Mm -hmm. And I love that dash back from Venya. <gasps> Oh my god, and that was almost the stock. A beautiful back here, but Jackal yeah. ready to tech that. Yeah. Venya's offstage play today is so, so on point, but Jackal's just awareness and familiarity with the matchup is definitely showing here. Which is interesting, because I wonder like what kind of Greninja's like that like Jackal might have this kind of practicing against. He's doing it very well, much better than most of the other people we've seen in bracket so far. Yep. It's not every day we have somebody of Venya's caliber here, like for the Greninja. Mm -hmm. Um Venya Gonna get back against Jackal. I think Jackal anticipated for him to try to stall a little bit more. Oh, great counter. <laughs> that kind of surprised you. <laughs> I'm a little bit shook after that because there's just like two such strong commitments for me to play Venia. I think yeah. definitely was in position to react to that. Jackal was perhaps waiting for him to press a button. You saw Jackal dash forward but not commit to a down smash or anything. But yeah. once again, the up smash is gonna take it. Keeping it close, no problem at all. But like this kind of stage too, I feel like, so it was Venya's counter pick, but I feel like it's not that bad for yeah. either player, to be honest. And now that you see like Venya conditioned Jackal to start recovering low, I won't be surprised if we just see like some falling down. It was off stage. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, That's no such a big oh, no, catch. Have a jump. Oh, 
on to Shaki didn't, didn't make it back. Oh. Yeah, dipping a little bit too deep there. Maybe totally not intending to pass fall there. Mm -hmm. What a read that was. And I'm really, like, I wish Jackal got a little bit more off of that. He got Venia's exact move and positioning correct to yeah. play that forward there. And even though he didn't get as much damage off it, the fact that he kept that stage presence there was, like, the why he was walling out Venya there was, like, flawless. Like, 100%. Yeah. Right now, Venya is a pub Jackal, not where he wants to be. So difficult to land against Wolf. That's gonna get back from the ledge, okay. So smart of him to try to low profile, but Jackal, knowing that Venia loves to go for those falling neutralers for early percent combos, is just gonna dash back up smash. I feel like that was also like one of like the main times, like at least for this game, that like even though like it, yes, it was dash back for smash, it's pretty common from Wolf. Like this was the first time we really kind of saw like Jackal let Venya off the ledge a little bit farther, and I think that like that kind of like di like difference there made Venya dash in to fall into the forward smash. That's gonna be the upper upper. Jackal without another jump. I love that grab, but not able to connect anything off of it. I think he anticipated either an air dodge or the directional air dodge in words. Ooh, oh my god. Great forward that, smash. That timing was like unreal. That was a that was a chef kiss. <laughs> uh, every time there is an exceptional play. Like Venia, so good at just catching somebody's impatience while yep. landing with an F smash. He puts himself in such a fantastic range where I believe you know, even if they landed and still were, was able to hit their shield. Mm -hmm. That he would just like still be in perfectly positioned so that you know he wouldn't get scooped up by anything. So you don't think that like so if Jack would have landed there, do you think he would have had like enough time to like shield grab? Because I'm not too like familiar with like the amount of like shield stand frames of like Greninja's forward smash um, on shield. I want to say that Greninja's F smash when fully spaced like at many a spacing uh -huh. might have been kind of safe, especially against a okay. character like Wolf who does not have the fastest out of shield options. Venya perfectly positioning himself with the tech chase there. Do so little that you can do once you put into that kind of a scenario at the edge against the Greninja. Oh, totally. What do you think about the stage choice? So like, oh, oh my, my god! Oh, slipped in there, no problem. Venya, <laughs> Venya, I love you. That was so good. That was so good. Jackal trying to get something started with like the falling aerial into grab, but unable to find it. New York's looking to take it here. It's this Jersey local. I don't think we have a uh. shot. <laughs> oh, I love I love my state. Anyhow, <laughs> um, I will say that Jackal right now is doing a really great job of slowing down the pace of the game and like catching Venia's commitments. Like Greninja's aerials are also safe on shield, but when you have the timing of it down, you're gonna get parry punished for it. Really surprised that he missed the second jab there. Mm -hmm. With the jab lock. I love the weight the on you know. Nice too. So is there like, any other stages like that's currently legal that like Venya could be doing at all? Because I feel like this. It's like this and oh, could he do it on FD? I'm not sure. Absolutely not. Not okay. Um, he could do it on Kalos, but Kalos is not yeah. legal here in New Jersey. Um, trying to land with a falling up on Wolf's shield is definitely not the move when you're doing it into him without the cross up. No. Okay. So Venia by doing that. Even still though, like Jackal's not doing bad with this deficit. Oh my god. There's another one though. <laughs> All right. So about the deficit. <laughs> Venia's. At 138% on his first stock, Jackal yep. has to do. Jackal has to commit to something. He was trying to get the strong neutral there, but regardless, the soft one is just gonna be enough to put Vanny into a latch up <laughs> situation. Oh my I god! I love it. You think that was styling? I mean, it was also like a legit option, though. Like what? Oh. At 50? No. <laughs> or oh my god! Pump, hydro pump. Oh. oh my god! Vanny, please. <laughs> Venya's corner, pre the pressure that he just applies to somebody by just full hopping is so scary. You don't know what he is going to land with. You don't know if he's going to punish you for overextending. Mm -hmm. Jackal struggling to get back onto stage. <gasps> no way! What did he just <laughs> get hit by? Back air, he just clipped him out of it a little bit. I think he traded. It's only hit like the first one or two hits. Venya, Hydrocity, thank you so much for the $5. I love you. <laughs> oh, man, that's so smooth. I love it. Such a slippery character. That was so good. That was. That was. That was a, well, <laughs> the chef kiss. That was, that was beautifully played. So even though we don't have the adaptability of a game five set here, everybody that's watching, because you know all the players left in bracket are still going to be watching this in the yes. venue right now on the projector, they're all going to be banning Unova now against him. Yeah, guaranteed. For sure. The not only the fact that it, Venny is able to have like an infinite tree of recovery mixes on a stage like yeah. Unova. He is able to disrupt your rhythm. He is able to ledge trap you better if you're like recovering. He can yep. just wait. Beautiful potential for stalling there. Like there, there's just so m you cannot 
be taking a Greninja to Kalos and Genova when you do have a limited recovery like Wolves. And even further too, like with characters like Wolf and like other kind of like limited recoveries, since it's like the lip on Unova, it forces them they can't go all the way down and ride it completely up. That means they kind of have to come from like off stage area.